All right, here we go. Here's a cool concept you can use really easily to help you with your soloing on minor swing, right? Three, four, one, two, three, four. This is a really simple idea you can use uh, to help you with your soloing on minor swing, right? There's this tune. It's like the stairway to heaven of gypsy jazz music. And uh, we love to play it. It's like the, the number one most popular tune that happens in jam sessions. And I've got a really cool idea to help you with your soloing on this tune. So if you want to learn that, stick around. When you join this live, by the way, uh, type where you're watching from. I'm actually in the Azores, the Portuguese islands at the moment. So type in where you're watching from and also click the love heart. Give me a bit of, give me a bit of love. It would really help me here. So um, welcome everybody. Um, when you solo, if you want to get good at soloing, by the way, the one thing you need to do, okay, is actually play your licks, play your scales, however you're gonna improvise, actually over music, okay? So if I'm gonna, instead of just randomly practicing scales and arpeggios and all that stuff, uh, actually relate it to music, because in the, the end of the day, we're trying to make music, and the more we can get these ideas in relation to music, then it's gonna sound better when you're in the jam, all right? So, okay, so. <laughs> A minor, right? You're playing the first chord. And if you want help, right? If you want help with all this Gypsy Jazz stuff, um, I can actually help you at the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club.com, right? You can join the community, get access to all the best resources, and I can coach you one on one from within the club, which is very cool. So there's a link in the description. Click that if you're interested. Right, you're playing over minor swing. First chord, A minor, right? Second chord, D minor. There's D minor, okay? So we want to solo over those two chords. Now, here's the lick. So you can play this chord, right? Just A minor nine, very simple, no big deal, right? Now the nice thing is, is that anything you play in A minor, you can just go one, two, three, frets up and play the same, the same thing where it's still, and then go back down. So this lick, over the A minor, so it's going and you kind of go right, so it's A minor 9, actually C minor 9, but who cares what it's called, it's just that kind of weird and wonderful sound, so A minor 9, slide it up 3 frets, okay, and back down, and do it, do yourself a favor and do it with a metronome, okay, A minor, 3, 4, 3, 4, a minor, right? A minor nine, up three frets, back down, right? Okay, that's the concept, right? Again, if I did it with D minor, also sounds cool, right? Sorry, two, three for A minor. everybody do hope you're having a great day uh, if you like this kind of teaching go to gypsy jazz transfusion club.com and I can literally coach you personally now the same applies with a lick right um, you can actually play a lick in a minor and you might play something like this right and actually this ties into Birelli Lagren uh, started his solo on minor swing using the same concept so a lick in A minor moved up to C minor over the A minor still works. Birelli started his solo like this. See what I mean? Do, 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 da, da. And it still works over the A minor, right? So 
So be ready, like Ren started his eight is minor swing solo like this, something like this. Two, three. So again, Borelli, two, three. Yeah, again. Let's do it slow motion, right? This is the lick, not the lick, but one lick. And that's all over A minor, right? is going and it kind of gives you that wild and wonderful modern kind of sound and for us guitarists it's really easy because we don't have to think complicated we literally just have to go count three frets uh one two three i think that's gonna sound cool and then play the same thing three thanks for the love guys if you like this video if you're watching on youtube click like if you're watching on facebook click the love heart and uh, it makes me feel better. And also type in where you're watching from, what's happening? Uh, I'm in the Azores, the islands in the middle of the Atlantic right now, but I wanna kinda show you this really simple concept which could help you with your soloing on minor swing. Use a metronome, okay, no big deal. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna solo over minor swing, A minor, A minor, it's a D minor. Okay, we'll stick it those two chords, right? A minor. A minor, A minor, then it goes to D minor, right? Okay, we're gonna use that concept that Robin was going on about. So there's the A minor, nine, right? Nice simple chord, by the way. Okay, we're gonna use this lick. Okay, A minor. Next time you're in a jam, try it. Rhythm's going like this, right? And you're just gonna go. Or try the Pirelli lick. One, two, three. Okay, again. Same concept that we're just superimposing C minor, which is three frets up over the still the A minor, and it'll just give you that nice sound, okay? So, A minor, so. All right, really nice sound. Welcome, Nuki. Lacho Divas. One, two, three, so A minor. Day, by the way so it's just this simple thing I wanted to teach you right really easy next time you're soloing on minor swing right it's going like this go like this right right and this is the way to do it this is the way to use just one lick at a time to learn and then the next time you play use it okay and also try practicing with a um, metronome because it kind of it keeps you in time and instead of a backing track you have to make the harmony right so a minor a minor d minor by the way that's a good one for d minor f6 practice soloing right actually practice over tunes so 
don't just play like scales and arpeggios on their own all the time, okay? It kind of gets a bit boring. And we want to try and make music, so actually play over tunes, over songs, okay? So there's just an idea to get you going on minor swing. If you want more help with this, if you want me to actually coach you online and join a community and get access to all the best resources to learn this music on an ongoing, fake, ongoing um, in an ongoing way, then go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. Come and have a look. I think you would love it. And apart from that, I can't see all the comments because uh, the light's shining, but um, I wish you a beautiful day and lots of love from Robin. Okay, see you soon.